Hello everyone, it's Nancy Amato, the Be More Stamper. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to go over some new products that will be available in the Celebration brochure starting January the 4th. And these are products you can earn for free with a qualifying purchase, okay? And we also have a brand new mini catalog launching that same day on January 4th. So I am going to go over a few things that I was able to pre-order from this catalog. And I was also able to pre-earn some freebie items out of the celebration brochure as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the products in this mini catalog first, and then we'll go through the celebration um, earned products as well. That is probably the best way to keep it organized, right? So I have these catalogs in house. I'm working on getting them ready to be sent out this week coming up. So if you do not have a demonstrator that you currently work with and you would like copies of these catalogs, please reach out to me and I will be happy to get them to you. So let's get started with our mini catalog here first. Now I'm not allowed to open up the catalog and show you the insides just yet. <laughs> we have to wait until January the 4th. So I am going to show you some products that I pre-ordered, but I can't show you the actual inside of the catalog just yet. So let's start with, I think my favorite, my favorite of all time <laughs> bundle, because you all know I love bees, right? So this is just the cutest little bundle ever. And I made this card and put these little bees on wobbles that I order from um, Amazon. See, they're just like little plastic springs that you can attach to the backs of items and then the front of the card, and you can make this little guy just wobble around. So let me show you this sweet, or this product here. Let's get out, it is a punch bundle. So there is the punch. And then here is the, um, the stamp set. So it's called Be My Valentine. Okay, so we have this cool little stamp set here. And then the punch will cut out the body of the bee plus a heart shape that also cuts out the wings. Okay, and then this small heart shape here is for the antenna. So let me show you real quickly. Let's bring this back in for a second. So yesterday I was busy making a whole bunch of bees here and um, I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly. Just, you know, just how to make a bee. So first we have our wing outline piece here. Okay. And then this is, we're going to just put a little funny little face on this bee. And then this image is um, for the antenna, okay? So here is the stripe part of the bee and then the body of the bee. So let me just grab just a little strip of um, basic white cardstock here. It's my last little strip in this bundle here. And I am going to use Daffodil Delight for the body of the bee. You can see right in here, I've been making a lot of bees, haven't I? <laughs> so I'm gonna just ink this up, okay? And I'm just gonna stamp that right on down there. All right, so that's the outline body of the bee. That's all we need our Daffodil Delight for. And now I'm gonna use my Memento Black and I'm going to ink up the stripes. I'll put that one over to the side. I'm going to ink up the stripes. And you want to look at the reverse side of the punch. You can see how we are going to feed this in to the punch. 
And this is the part where we have the bees stinger or whatever you want to call that, right? Okay, so we are going to line up these stripes right over top and then press down. Not too bad there, okay? And now we can just open up our punch. We unlock it just like this. And now I can feed this right on in. And I'm trying to see while showing you at the same time, line it up as best as possible there. And we just punch and then we have the body of our bee, okay? So let's put him over here. Let's open up our um, Tuxedo Black ink again. And this time we're gonna stamp the wings. So this time I'm gonna come in with this little strip from the right hand side. Okay, we're gonna make two wings for this one. We're gonna have him flying straight up and down. And then while we are doing this, let's come in with the little antenna and that is going to be angled that way, okay? All right, so let's punch out these wings first. I'm going to cover up my ink pad because I don't know where they're gonna go flying, right? <laughs> So here is the first one right here. Okay. And then, oh, I should have stamped that a little bit further away. Let me get another one because we kind of got a little piece of that heart there. I'm thinking now that I'm thinking about this, I think I actually stamped these in from the left. Let's give this one a try. I did. I did. There we go. And now while we have this here, we're just going to line this up and we're going to save that little white heart. But now we have our little antenna here. Okay. And we have our wings and I'm just going to close up my punch now. Put that back right in there. Close up my ink pad for the moment. And we will decide which face. Let's see, I have this face. <laughs> this face out, the little winky face with the open smile. So let's put that one on today since I already have it on the block. So we're going to ink that up. Okay, and just stamp that face right on there. Oh my gosh, that's so stinking cute. All right, I'm just gonna move these over. I will clean these up later on. I'm just gonna get them over there. Now it's time to build our bee. So I'm just gonna bring in my um, silicone mat real quickly and grab my uh, multi-purpose liquid glue. I am just going to put a little dot of glue right there at the base of that little heart and then just tuck the bee right on top of it. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the wings. Just put little dots of glue right there at the base of the, those little heart shapes. And now I can just lift this up, tuck that wing under there, and then lift this one up and tuck that wing under there. Okay. Now, if you notice on this card, I actually made the wings out of our vellum cardstock. Okay. Because I wanted them to be a little bit see through. So you can see the difference between the look that you would get with the, the basic white cardstock and the vellum. Now if you decide to stamp on the vellum and then punch it out, give it a good long time for that ink to dry before you try to punch it out. Okay? Or use your heat tool on low and help that along just a little bit. Okay, so look. 
There is our bee. Oh my gosh, so cute. Now, the shape of this bee can also be used as like a little thought bubble as well. And the love you greeting fits right inside of that. So you could have your bee and then assemble the thought bubble right over his head and make a cute little Valentine card as well. Okay, so now you can see why this is probably my favorite or one of my favorites <laughs> in this um, new January through April mini catalog because I love the bees so much. Alrighty, so that is all for that one. Let me put that one over here. Okay, and um, I'm actually going to put the punch right here too so that I don't misplace it. Let's start with our bundles first in the mini catalog. Here is one of them. I have not made a sample for this one just yet. It is called Delicate Forest and it is also a photopolymer stamp set. So you can easily line these things up when you're stamping because you'll be able to see right through there. Okay, and let's take a look at the dies. I have put my dies on magnetic sheets so that I don't lose them. But you can see this gorgeous die right here makes like this beautiful archway to look through and see these trees and everything. Oh my gosh, I can't wait, can't wait to play with this one. And then you have two label dies here, a medium sort of width and then a narrow width and they coordinate with the greetings that are in this set. And then you have some extra sprigs here. And then these dies, actually when you punch this out, okay, when you die cut this, then you can line this up. It's gonna be your horizon line, plus a few extra little um, sprigs or um, trees or whatever. So I can't wait to play with this one. And that is called Delicate Forest. Alrighty, let me put this away. I'll be so amazed if I'm still organized with these bundles after this live, right? Good start so far, I'm trying to keep them all together. Okay, that's Delicate Forest. Another new bundle in the January through April mini catalog is called Notes of Nature. And I just love this little grid paper here, this little, um, it looks like a field note of like a nature journal and this splatter. So this one is a red rubber stamp set. So you won't be able to see through it, but it will stamp beautifully, I am sure. And then the dies that coordinate with this one are right here. And you have um, outline dies to go around these three images right here. Oops, sorry, let me tilt that a little bit, trying to get some of the light from reflecting. So you have outline dies here to cut out these three images. And then you have this gorgeous long die right here. I have seen so many great things made with this for backgrounds. I can't wait to try it. And then this is going to be like three hole punch paper. Although, as you can see, it has um, three sets of threes. So, and then there's, going, there's a little stitching right there as well. So I haven't had time to play with this one yet either. I think I was way too busy making 8,000 little bees <laughs> for my team. We're having a little team Zoom event next weekend and I'm giving them a little, little treat with um, the bees attached. So that's why I've been busy with all of these bees. So this is Notes of Nature. That's another bundle in the new January through April mini catalog. So the next bundle is Trusty Tools. We have needed um, a set for masculine cards for quite a while. So you can see that this one is designed for all the guys in your life or actually the women who do a lot of construction and painting and all of that. 
but the greetings right here will help you with Father's Day greeting cards for the summertime. Okay, so you can see all of these. This is also a photopolymer set, so you can see how this image right here will fill in the handle of the hammer. Okay, this one right here will fill in the handle of the wrench, and then this one fills in the paintbrush handle, and then this right here, I love this little image here, that's just gonna fill in whatever paint color you want to be on that paintbrush. Isn't that cool? I love that. And then, um, and then what else? This is for the tape measure, okay? And the actual, the pencil. Alrighty, so that is that. It does have a bundle price and it comes with these dies when you purchased, <clears throat> pardon me, purchased the bundle. So the extra dies you're going to get on this one, it's a cute little pegboard right here. There are pieces that you can make a drill. So here is this part. And let me figure out all the little pieces here. Here is the other part of the drill, okay? You have all of these, the handle of the hammer and the wrench um, are right there. So you can cut these out in gray paper so that they look like metal. I just love this one. Now this is an extra one right here, as is this one right here for those. So can't wait to play with these. Have not gotten to them just yet. Okay, but this will be a great set. And there is a celebration paper that coordinates with this bundle. So it is so cute. I will show that to you when we get to our celebration items. Okay, so Trusty Tools is another bundle in the January through April mini catalog. And actually, if you buy that bundle, you would qualify for the designer series paper as a freebie choice. Okay, another one we have here is perennial postage. I love all of these greetings here and I love the mixed fonts because we have printing here and then we have script here. Love, love, love this. So let me show you the dies that coordinate with this one. Oh, this is also a cling set. So it is made with red rubber, okay? And it has the cling mount foam on the back of it. I have not taken time yet to put my labels on the backs of these images, but I will get to that. So those are all of the greetings, perfect for Mother's Day, wedding, sending love and best wishes or engagements, and just, you know, thinking of you type of cards, okay? So here are the dies that coordinate with this set. Look at this postage edge. I love this. It looks like a, the old fashioned postage stamps, you know? So we have a large one right here. And then one that we can layer right inside of there. And then the other ones are smaller ones that all will label in, I mean, layer inside of each other there, okay? Isn't that great? And they are coordinated to fit around these greetings right there. So I can't wait to play with all of these. I know this is gonna be one of my favorites. I love label kind of dies and how you can layer them all around. So this is going to be a fun one to play with as well. So this again is called perennial postage and it coordinates with the next bundle that we're going to look at. The next one is called painted lavender. It is a photopolymer set so it is going to be easy to line up these floral images on top of the stems. Okay so this is really beautiful. I just love this one. I haven't played with it yet. You can tell because look, all of the stamps are clean and brand new. <laughs> I haven't even put any ink on them just yet, 
but the dies that coordinate with them are right here. So you have a die right here that will go around this big bunch of lavender, okay? You have dies that will go around these images right here. Extra dies that are just going to let you cut out two pieces of, you know, sprigs of lavender here. This one will cut out all of these images individually. Alrighty. I just love, love this set. So I can't wait. You also have dies that cut out these butterflies. I can't wait to play with these. So this is painted lavender also in the January through April mini catalog. Okay, that's another bundle right there. There is paper, designer series paper in the catalog that will coordinate with that. I'm gonna do the paper all at the end. Okay, so there's some individual items that I purchased as well. And this is one of the new 3D embossing folders. And I have to look that up real quickly and see what that is called because I forgot to write it down. So let me just open up the catalog, take a peek at that. I think it's some kind of floral, but I cannot remember. It's called Layered Florals, okay? It is a beautiful embossing folder. Oh my goodness, it's, it's lovely. So here is a card that I made with this embossing folder and then another new hybrid embossing folder for this word hello that I'm gonna show you next. So look at this deep impression that you get. And then with this sample, I even did the flap of the envelope with this new embossing folder as well. It is, it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, and then this is a, this greeting right here is from a celebration set. So let's look at how I got that hello word as well for this sample. Let me bring in the thoughtful moments. And this is a hybrid embossing folder. So what that means is we have this 3D embossing folder. Okay, so it's one of our thicker ones. Okay, we have all of these words in here. Okay, so thank you. Oh, happy day. Thinking of you. Hello, love you. You make me happy. With sympathy, celebrate just because and get well. So this is one-stop shopping, basically, for all the greetings that you would ever need, okay? And this is paired with the Thoughtful Moments dies, okay? Let me show this to you and how this works, okay? So this is how this will work. You lay these dies right inside of here on the side of the embossing folder that has the logo. And then you can lay your paper right here, close this and cut it out, and you will get all of the greetings. Now, you'll notice with this hello, there is a line, a thin line around there of Misty Moonlight ink that really just accentuates each letter. And here's how I did that. I'm not gonna show you how to do it today with the ink, because that is a whole other video all on itself. And I have so many things stacked up here, I just don't wanna knock them on the floor. <laughs> so our brayer is back. We have a, a brayer that is in the January through April mini catalog now. It is wider than the one we had many years ago. So, this is what you do to get that little outline around the words. You will take your brayer, roll it on your ink pad, so you're picking up some ink onto the brayer, and then you're gonna lay down this embossing folder with the logo peeking through right there. And you are going to run the brayer one way, ink it up again on your ink pad, run it the other way, okay? And just the slightest little bit of ink 
is going to go around all of those little pieces that are popped up from this layer, okay? After you have your ink applied, then you lay the die right on top there, and you can feel when it like snaps in there. Then lay your paper on top of all that, close up this embossing folder, and with the spine first, feed this through your die cutting machine, okay? When you open this up, then you remove this die and all of the little pieces will be cut out and also they will have the little line of whatever color ink you chose all around these letters to make it really, really special, okay? So this is a product on its own, this hybrid embossing folder. So that means an embossing folder plus the dies. So these dies include this big die right here that cuts everything out, plus some little dies here as accents. So I love these little rainbows right here. We have hearts and flowers. We have some sprigs here, some stars, and some clouds, okay? So this is just, this is so cute. I love playing with this, so I have had a lot of fun teaching myself how to do, <laughs> how to use this hybrid embossing folder. Okay, so that is a standalone item as well, as is the brayer. So we have our tool back that we all loved. Okay, here is another standalone product. These are everyday details dies. I'm sorry, these are, this is not a standalone product. I just chose to make it a standalone product. I purchased these dies separate from the stamp set because again, you know me, I love dies that will act as labels and all of these are stitched. They are beautiful. I just love them. So they either have stitching or like the little teeny tiny holes around them. So this does have a stamp set that coordinates with it that you can choose to buy as a bundle. I just chose to get these dies as a single purchase. And let me show you a quick sample that I made using that largest circle die. So this is what that largest circle die looks like. You could even take some um, white baker's twine and a needle and feed that all around that circle. I did not take the time to do that, but I will have to do it just to see what it looks like. So this is another sample I made. So that is that large circle in that Everyday Details die set. And then we're gonna come back to this when we talk about um, the celebration items. Alrighty, so let me put that over to the side again. Alrighty, another new stamp set, and this is a photopolymer stamp set, is called Planted Paradise. I have not played with this one yet. All I did was take it off of the sheet and put it on the inside here. You can see how each die, so let's pick this one. This is pretty detailed. So you can see this leaf die right here has some detail in it right there. So you can put this on the block just like this, ink it up, and then you're gonna get the image with the detail. Then you can clean this off, flip it over, put this side towards the ink and stamp over top of that image like with a lighter ink color and then you get like a 3D look. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play with this. So you can see how they show it to you on the front here and also in the catalog. Um, so it's one stamp and depending on which way you put it on the block and ink it up, that will depend on what image you get. Okay, so can't wait to play with this. It's called Planted Paradise. Here is another stamp set that I purchased ahead of time. And here is a little sample card 
um, that I made with it. I just love these trees right here. They are just beautiful. It looks like a watercolor wash, and I have not tried this yet with the brayer, but I have seen some people who have inked up the entire image, and then with the brayer, inked up a slightly darker ink and just rolled it onto the bottom of it, so then you get a two-tone image. So I can't wait to play with that. This is a cling stamp, so it will be red rubber. And I've already put the stickers on this one. So this is Quiet Reflection. You can see this beautiful image. This was um, stamped in boho blue, and then the greeting was stamped right over it in um, the memento black just there. And this embossing folder is a part of our celebration offering. So we're gonna come back to that in a quick minute. And the stay strong, my friends, you'll get through this. That greeting, we have seen that already. That was from earlier in the, hang on, I'm trying to look without creating a craft a lanch over here. In the, oh my goodness, I can't without knocking everything over, so I will look that up <laughs> in the in the book. I'm gonna take some photos of these sample cards that we've made already and put them on the Facebook page as well so you can see close up. Okay, so this is a really nice, just thinking of you or when you need that um, sympathy card. It also has a great greeting for that. And it also has a little line here for sympathy for a pet. So if someone loses a pet, there is a greeting right in there specific for that as well. Alrighty, so that is that one. Oh my goodness, you all know I love dogs, right? So <laughs> look at this one. It is so stinking cute. It is called Dog on Friendly. It is a big background stamp, as you can see right there. I have not put the sticker on this one yet either, but there are so many different dogs. This image is perfect for a background. You can color each of the dogs, so if you love to color, this is the stamp for you. Or you can always use the new brayer, ink it up, and ink up this whole image with one layer of ink, okay? Or you could do different colors, like you could start with a lighter color here, clean off your brayer, ink it up with a medium color, and then start here for the middle, okay? Clean off your brayer again, ink it up with a darker color, and do that one at the end. So this is going to be a fun one to play with. So it's called Doggone Friendly. And then another standalone item is the mini alphabet dies. So I haven't die cut any of these yet, but I do have an idea in my brain. <laughs> so you can see that this is just so cute. All right, and you get multiples of most of the letters that you use all the time, like the A's and the E's, okay, H's. So one pass, through the die cutting machine and you have an entire alphabet out of one strip of paper that would really only need to be, let me measure here, like five and a half by three and a quarter. So yes, this is great, this is great. We also have our international letters <laughs> for different languages and then you also have some symbols as well. So I can see using this with the hashtag and then a word that's gonna be great for memory keeping as well, okay? So this is just a standalone product called Mini Alphabet Dies. And in fact, I'm gonna use this with um, the B set and I'm gonna make a happy B day put the B where the word birth would be for birthday. Haven't done it yet, but it's in the brain. It will get done. Alrighty. And then here is a new punch that we have that is also going to coordinate with um, a celebration item. 
And then this punch as well. This is the modern oval punch. I haven't even opened this one yet. So this has a stamp set that coordinates with it as well. I haven't purchased the stamp set yet. Um, so you can get it as a bundle with the stamp set and this modern oval punch if you like. All right, let's go through some, hang on, let me move these over. There are also some cards and envelopes here. And then we're going to go over the memories and more in a second. This is called Gold Foiled, um, <clears throat> pardon me, Flowers, Cards, and Envelopes. You get 10 of these in this pack. And look at this die cut envelope flap. That is just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so it is very vanilla on the outside and then basic white on the inside. Here are the cards that come with it. They have foil on the front of them and also on the back, okay? The inside of these cards is basic white. The outside is very vanilla with the gold foiling. Now, what I'm thinking is of cutting this in half right there at that score mark, and then I can have two card fronts for two different cards, okay? So that's, that is kind of my plan with these, but they are absolutely beautiful. And again, you get 10 to a pack. We do have a new Memories and More pack. And I have just pulled out one of each of these, okay? It is called Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More card pack. And then there are coordinating cards and envelopes, Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More cards and envelopes in a as a separate purchase, okay? So let's look at the cards and envelopes first, and then we're gonna go through each of these. So you have one card and envelope that coordinates there. And this is, I'm thinking, Pretty Peacock. I'm guessing Pretty Peacock. And look at the inside of this envelope. Oh my goodness. And it is the whole, let me see if you can see that. It is the whole inside of this envelope. So you can use this as an envelope or you can take this envelope apart and use this as some designer series paper as well. So that is the pretty peacock one. And then same thing for this Calypso coral. So the entire envelope is patterned on the inside. Okay, so lots of fun with those two things. And then they coordinate with the Memories and More cards. Again, let me, I'm not memorizing all these. Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More cards. So you get two of each of these that I'm going to show you. So these are three by four inches. So this is perfect for memory keeping or card making. Okay, so that's the front and the back. And then good things, and then just like a little type written there. Life is wonderful. I love these bright, happy colors. And then little hearts on that one. Picture perfect. And then again, some more typing there. This one kind of reminds me a little bit if it had been in the greens and blues. My um, mother-in-law had wallpaper very similar to this in the 80s. <laughs> so that kind of reminds me of the kitchen wallpaper there. And then on the back side, you have that one. Here is the front of this card with the word love. Back side here with this butterfly and tag. This is a great journaling card right here. More journaling lines here with moments to remember. And then the back side is this funky little boca, polka dot pattern. Here's some leaves. Oops, love you forever. Okay, this would be perfect for the card front. Here's some pretty peacock flowers. And then on this one it says, I love you to pieces and it like fades up. 
Love this little stripe with the rainbow colors. And here's a word that says the details. You can use this as a journaling card, or you could just cut that part off and use stamp a greeting here and use it as a greeting card. Here is another one. And this says, you are my sunshine. Here is this one. You are nothing short of amazing. Okay. Lovely moments. Journaling space here. And then some ferns on the back. I love this paintbrush with the flowers on it. That is just so cute. And then hello there on the back of there. And some more of these flowers. And the happy life. Print it and repeat it down this one. The world needs more people like you. I love that. And then on the back is some fern. Dream big. And then on the back, this matches the uh, card base as well. And then I love this one. I love you each and every day with this butterfly. Love that one. Okay, so those are all the three by fours. And again, you get two of each of these patterns. Let's look at the four by sixes. Here is, love this one. You can just put this on the front of a card and you are done. There's the Hello Beautiful. And on the back side of that one, you get this pattern. Love this one. Beautiful, amazing, fabulous, lovely, wonderful. You could use this as a memory keeping item and then just put a photo of someone there. Or you could cut it in half and then you get this card as a three by four. And then you have this space here as a three by four. And then on the back side here, you have butterflies. And enjoy the little moments with the butterflies here. Back side matches the Calypso Coral card. I love this one. Oh my gosh, look at this butterfly. It's so beautiful. And then on the back side here says, so sweet. And then this one, you can do hard things. This is really cute. Perfect for an encouragement card. And then this one here mimics the envelope liner, right? See that? Okay, so you have that card right there. Oops, I'm having a little avalanche here. Let me move this over. And then on the back side, you have All About You. So a nice little journaling card here for memory keeping. So many reasons to smile right here. And then on the back side, you have these flowers. Okay, so you get two of each of these four by six cards as well. And then you're going to get six sticker sheets. Okay, you get two of this one. And you can see this one is like a, a copper kind of foil. This is so cool. Love this one. Okay. All right. And then this one, you have sweet memories, my heart, birthday, love you to pieces. All of these are individual little stickers. See how each of those greetings is popping up like a little individual sticker there. Okay, for memory keeping and cards. Happy, happy, happy. And then another little um, journaling box there. Love this one too. So you get two of these, two of these, and then you're also going to get two of these. I love this butterfly sticker. Oh my goodness. So if you were looking at that big um, card with that butterfly and thinking, oh, I could cut that out. Well, look at this. You will get two stickers just like that that are already um, die cut for you. Okay, so this is the Sweet Thoughts Memories and More card pack and then the Sweet Thoughts Memories and More cards and envelopes. You get 10 of this color and 10 of this color, so 20 all together. And then all of these cards and sticker sheets I've just shown you are, you get two of each of those. Okay, let me move that out of the way. Oh, alrighty. Oh, hey Susan, how are you? I just looked down, I was like, I've been so like focused on getting through all of this. <laughs> alrighty, so this is the Paper Butterfly Accents. These are found with the lavender stamp set that I just showed you before, okay? 
and the perennial postage. So that's where you're going to find these. I'm gonna carefully pull this out. These are very delicate laser die cut butterflies. Okay, this side is white. It looks like they're white on both sides. I thought one side was a little bit darker. I guess they're both white and they are so easy to punch out. It's almost hard to keep them in. So let me, let me grab this. Okay, let me grab this darker piece here. So you can see how beautiful they are going to be on cards. Oh my goodness. You can leave them white. You can color them with a brayer. <laughs> you can color them with a blending brush. Oh my gosh. They're, I mean, the possibilities are just endless. I love these. So let me punch out all of these on this one sheet here. Okay, there's that one. And then this big one here. I know my friend Heather is going to just go bonkers over these because they are just so beautiful and so easy to use. So you get 40 butterflies in here. Okay, so these are called paper butterfly accents and you get 40 butterflies in that pack. So I can guarantee you that I will be using these quite a bit because I love butterflies as well. So there is that one. I'm going to show you some um, embellishments. This is called Adhesive Bag Hearts and Flowers. And you're going to find this one with my fabulous Bumblebee, <laughs> Be My Valentine Sweet. Okay, so this is um, Sweet Sorbet, which is one of the end colors that will be retiring at um, the end of our annual catalog. So be sure to stock up on your Sweet Sorbet. And I always recommend people to stock up on end colors during celebration because, especially for the end colors that will be retiring, you will earn freebie items on celebration for every $50 order. So you're getting your in color inks and refills and card stock and any embellishments ahead of the grand rush. Okay, so celebration is the time to do it. So this is Sweet Sorbet and Petal Pink. I'm trying to remember. Petal Pink and then Sweet Sorbet and then um, Daffodil Delight and White. I know that's a little hard to see, isn't it? Those little daisies. Let me, there you go, pop those up. And then Pool Party and the Daffodil Delight. So these little embellishments are just so stinking cute. I love them, love them, love them. All righty, so that is that. That goes with the bee, the bee suite. And then this one is called Purple Fine Shimmer Gems. These are absolutely beautiful. And these go with the lavender suite. So you can see they're fairly flat. They're not completely flat. So they are, you know, slightly domed, but the um, surface of these, I'm, I'm hoping that you can kind of catch some of the shimmer. The surface of these, they're plastic, and then the surface of these are um, faceted. So it really does catch the light and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So this is, I'm trying to remember, Moody Mauve and then um, um, this one's Highland Heather and this is Gorgeous Grape. I had to get my purples, <laughs> my purples straight. So again, this goes with that um, Lavender Sweet. So you can find that all together in the January through April mini catalog. And let me pull out a ribbon that I um, pre-ordered as well. This is the Sweet Sorbet Bordered Ribbon. And let me see, is this 3 eighths of an inch? Well, I can just measure it here. No, it's a quarter of an inch. Um, so this also coordinates with the um, the Be My Valentine. So that is 
actually the ribbon that I used for this sample that goes with a celebration stamp set that I'm going to show you in just a minute. So that is that sweet sorbet ribbon right there. Okay. All right. So that is everything from the January through April. Okay. I'm going to do the papers last and I'm going to tell you which is which is which once we get to that. So that is everything from the January to April mini catalog that starts January the 4th through the end of April. Let me see. Yep, 30th of April. But of course, um, things can run out. So I always suggest if there's something that you love, you get it way before April. <laughs> All righty. Let me bring over my little bin of goodies from Celebration, okay? All right, so here is our Celebration um, brochure right here. And you can see on the front, this is giving you some sneak peeks of some items that are there. So I can show you the front, and I think I can probably show you the back. I just can't show you the inside. So you can kind of see a little sneak peek here of that designer series paper that coordinates with that tool set that I was telling you about. So we're gonna do the papers all at the last minute, okay? Alrighty, so let's go over. Here is a celebra celebration detailed dogwood stamp set, okay? This is a cling mount stamp set, oops. So it is the red rubber with our cling foam and the stickers. This is one of the items available for a $100 purchase. So if you purchase $100 before tax and shipping, you can choose this stamp set as your freebie celebration item, okay? So that is one of the $100 items. Um, another one is the Softly Sophisticated. It is a stamp set, photopolymer, so you can see right through it. And you can see this is where we got this little flower right here with this sample, okay? So here are the leaves right here. And then here is this flower and the bud is right here on this image. The hello there is also from this um, celebration stamp set. Remember, this is the one that I used the circle die cut from the mini catalog. And then on the inside, we have Enjoy Your Day, which is from another greeting stamp set from Celebration. Okay, so we'll get to this one in, in next in just a quick second. But for this one, you get all of these greetings plus these um, floral images, okay? Plus, you get this awesome, and this is a 3D embossing folder, so it's one of our thicker ones. You get this awesome embossing folder. So you can see that I used this one for this paper um, with basic white and also for our previous card. Remember I said we would come back to this one as well? So you can see that texture on there as well. So this is the softly sophisticated 3D embossing folder plus the stamp set combination. And again, these two items together are something that you can choose um, with a $100 purchase, okay? So those are those two right there. Let's get back to this one, because we had that greeting on the inside of that card. So this is a cling mount stamp set. Again, it is the red rubber with the cling foam and the stickers. This is available for a $50 purchase, okay? So you may choose this when you have a $50 purchase before tax and shipping. So this kind of runs the gamut <laughs> of all of the springtime and early summer holidays. You have an Easter greeting, you have Mother's Day, you have Father's Day, 
Valentine's Day, just a generic hello and an enjoy your day. This could be for birthday or just anything really. So this is a $50 item that you can select. Another one is the watercolor melon stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set, so you will be able to see right through it. So you will know where, how to line up these watermelon rinds around the different pieces of watermelon here. This one, I love that it has just like a little bite mark out of it, like somebody couldn't wait. They had to get that little piece of watermelon there. And then you have some watermelon seeds right there, those images, but you could also use those as raindrops as well. Okay, so think outside of the watermelon for this one. You could definitely use this as um, raindrop images as well. Alrighty, and then here is one of my favorite ones. Oh my gosh, look at these cute little animals, and it has a sloth, and I know Karen and Liz and Carol are just gonna go crazy for this one. So this is Jungle Pals. It's a red rubber cling mount stamp set, okay? So there are those little animals. I love, love this. All right, you have a meerkat and a toucan, and again, a sloth, a tiger, and I'm guessing this is an alligator. I can't remember, you know, alligators. Yeah, I think this is an alligator because he has a longer point of your snout. I think the crocodiles have the squared off snout. So you may choose this stamp set with a $50 order. And then there are these dies. Oh my goodness. So the dies are for a $100 order. So if you have $100, $150, you can get both of these together. Plus your order qualifies for um, hostess rewards, okay? So you can see I haven't even taken these off of the paper that they come on, but you are going to be able to die cut all of these animals. Plus you're gonna have all of these leaves and the tree and the vine these little flowers. So uh, I just, I can't wait to play with this one. This is going to be a lot of fun, building some scenes with these animals. So again, these are celebration items that you can earn for free with qualifying orders beginning January the 4th. All right, let's go through our paper. I am going to pull out the celebration paper that I have first. Hang on, so here is one of them. And I think that's all I have right now. I just got that one pack of this paper. So I'm gonna open these. These are things I'm actually going to open because <laughs> I haven't opened them yet. So you can choose this trusty toolbox 12 by 12 designer series paper. And I'm gonna pull out one sheet of each one. So this is gonna go with the Trusty Toolbox Suite um, bundle that I just showed you before that is available in the January through April mini catalog. Okay, so one side, you have all of your tools here. And the other side, you have a slight watercolor wash plus like the grid paper, okay. Here is another one. This has all of the screwdrivers on there as a background. And then, <clears throat> pardon me, this looks like um, concrete. That's kind of cool as well. And then this one, you have hammers and nails. Oh my goodness, let me hold this up. Can you see those hammers that are kind of crossed there? And then the little teeny tiny nails right down there. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that before. And then you have all of these little um, nuts and screws and yeah, even a Phillips head screw. So you have all of those right on here. That's kind of cool. Let me see what's next. And then this one, oh my gosh, <laughs> when you put it this way, it looks like one of those um, toolboxes, you know, like those Sears Craftsman um, 
drawer toolbox things that you can have freestanding. So that's kind of cool. Now you can also use the stripes this way. And then on the back side of here, you have more um, screws here. Yeah, yep, that's kind of cool. And some um, bolts. And yeah, that is, that's kind of cool. All right. This one is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is like for the tape measure. You have all of these. You can cut these in strips and use these with the tape measure or just use this as a background. And then, oh my gosh, this looks like the pegboard. How cute is that? And then one more. Okay, so more tools and even like saws and then um, blades for a circular saw. So there you go, a level. Oh my gosh, that is just so cute. Look at that, look at that clamp. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. All right, and then on the back of here, this is just like, let me see what colors are on here. Is that Lost Lagoon? So this is very similar to like the concrete wash, but in Lost Lagoon. Okay, so yeah. Colors are basic black, copper clay, crushed curry, gray granite, Lost Lagoon, and poppy parade. So this paper, you get two sheets of each. This is a freebie that you may choose with a $50 order out of the celebration brochure. All right, let's go through the designer series paper now that is in the January through April mini catalog. Okay. And this is called Lighter Than Air. And you are, it, it coordinates with a bundle, I should say, that is in the January through April mini catalog. It is another hot air balloon bundle, which is so cute. I love these colors because they're just soft and so spring-like. So you will get, oh, let's see. You're gonna get eight of each of these patterns. Okay, so eight of that one, eight of this one, polka dots on the front, and then the clouds on the back. So you can see <clears throat> how those clouds <laughs> those little teeny tiny clouds that were part of the, um, oh gosh, you know, the set with the, the embossing folder and the dies. I've already forgotten the name of it, but you can see how that is gonna coordinate with that. So again, you're gonna get eight of that pattern as well. Let me move on to the next one. Here's a nice stripe. This has to be Lemon Lolly. Yep, Lemon Lolly. And then on the back side, you have that. So eight of that pattern. Oh, this is cute as well. That is cute. That has to be Fresh Freesia, let's guess. Yep, Fresh Freesia. And then on the back side, oh my gosh, you have those little daisies. This would even go well with the um, Bee Sweet, you know, with the, those little daisy embellishments. So I can see cutting an oval out of this one and using it for Easter. So I think this hot air balloon designer series paper is not just for the hot air balloon bundle. Here's another cute pattern. Again, eight of this one. Oh, same thing with this. You could cut an oval out and have an Easter egg cut out of that. There is an Easter egg set in there as well. So I will have to look at that later and see if there is an Easter egg. I'm sure there's an Easter egg shape to cut out. So yeah, beautiful pastel stripes. I can see using these for baby cards as well. Okay, and then on the back there. So you get eight of those. So eight of each of these patterns. And let me fan these out so you can kind of see them. And then we're gonna flip them over. So clouds and balloons. Okay, so eight, and there's the front, and then the back side as well. All right, so that is one of the designer series papers that is available in the January through April mini catalog. It's called Lighter Than Air. 
Okay. Of course, you know my favorite paper is going to be this Be Mine. <laughs> love, love, love this paper. So it is a 12 by 12 pack, okay? You're going to get one of each of these. Let's look at the front side first and then the back side. Love this paper. So you get two of each of these patterns, okay? I'm just gonna show you one right now. One with the honey jars and this one, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's sweet sorbet and it has like, it looks like little stitching lines, almost looks like a quilt, but it's like the trail that the bee flew in, right? Here is this one right here. These are the little bees with the little hearts. This is the one I used. Hang on, let me grab my sample again. This is the inside panel that I used here. Okay, for this card right here. So that is adorable. And then the back side here are some little hearts. So again, two of those sheets right there. You get two of these. I love these little bees. Oh my gosh, I love how they colored their little teeny tiny cheeks too. Look at that. I'm gonna have to get out a Stampin' Blend and add those in. That is adorable. And then on the back side here, these flowers coordinate with the embellishments that we were just showing you. And then this floral pattern with this stripe, you know, I love my stripes here. There you go. So that's how this, that's where this stripe pattern came from. And also for this sample, I just used two teeny little quarter inch strips of that paper as well. Okay, so that's that one. You get two of those. And then the last pattern you get are these bees out in the garden. So cute, oh my goodness, so cute. And then a um, honeycomb shape um, pattern right here on the back side in petal pink. So again, let's pull all of these in. Like this, I'm gonna just layer these like this so you can kind of get a quick, quick look at all of these at once. Okay, so here is one side, and then again, flipping it, and here is the opposite side, okay? I am doing a designer series paper share. I will have all the information about that up on my Facebook page tomorrow, and I will also be sending an email out to my email mailing list, so if you would like to get that email, Please click above. You can see it in my the, the top of my Facebook page right here, and you can join my email mailing list. All right, so here is another pack of paper. This is called the Forever Love, and this is a specialty designer series paper because it has foil in it, okay? So I'm going to show you one side. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. It is gold foil on moody mauve background. And then the plain side is right here. It's very vanilla. All right, next one is right here with this foil. And this is pretty peacock and gold foil. And then the back side there with those little flowers. And then here is another foil. This is Pretty Peacock with gold once again. And then here's Moody Mauve and that's a nice stripe there. Here's another foil side here. And then the, the back side, which is matte. Okay. And then this one. Also has roses. You can see at the intersection of these lines, each time the lines cross one another, there's a little rose there. And then the back side is plain. And then the last one is this one right here. And this coordinates with those um, note cards and envelopes I was showing you before. 
this is what this coordinates with. So again, this is called the Forever Love 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. You get two each of those sheets. So this are the flat sides, <laughs> okay? And then I'm gonna flip it over. So these are the patterns on the one side. And then when you flip it over, you have all of these foiled patterns right here. And these are beautiful. And they, yes, they could be used for Valentine's Day, but they're not strictly Valentine's bright red coloring. So this can be used all through the year. Okay, I love that. All right, so let me put this one back in. So this is a specialty paper. So this is 1650. The regular designer series papers I was showing you are um, 1250. Let's pull in the other specialty paper while we're talking about foil. This one is called Nature's Sweetness Specialty Designer Series Paper. And again, this is also a 12 by 12. And you get two sheets of each of these patterns. So here is the first one. This is beautiful. It's like a vanilla bean and an orchid. And I think these are supposed to be um, cacao pods, you know, like for chocolate. If my Hershey Park <laughs> memory serves me. There we go. So that's the first one. And then the back side, you have that nice grid paper here. Here's the foil side of the second one. So the entire background of this one is foil. And then the flowers are um, on top of that. It feels like the flowers are raised on top of that. That's beautiful. And then the back side of that one. And then here's another one. It has nice script. And then a beautiful splatter on here with the foil. And then the back side of that one. Okay, oh, look at this one. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. So the leaves and the foiling is all throughout the background. That is gorgeous. And then the back side of that one. And then here is foiling that is made like with a grid but it is, it is distressed. So you can see there are some areas where the grid is not available to see. So that is, that's beautiful. And then, oh look, these are for like card fronts. Love that. So you can cut this in half and then cut this to four and you can have a four by five and a quarter inch card front. So six of these are available out of each of those sheets. So you can have 12 out of the whole pack. And then this one, here's some foiling. This is like script paper. Okay, that's beautiful as well. I'm trying to get the, the sheen <laughs> so you can see it. And then the back side of that. That looks like ledger paper to me. <laughs> All righty. So those are the non-foiled sides. Let me spread these out again. Let me put this one on top since it's like a card front. Okay, so here are the non-foiled sides right here. So this is the selection that you get. And then flip it over and you can see all the foiled sides. So that's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, so that is that one. So that's the last specialty paper that I have to show you. This one is just so cute. I love this one. There is a product bundle that coordinates with this paper as well. And this one is called Just Kidding. <laughs> and this is also a 12 by 12. Let's open this one up. And you get two sheets of each of these. Oh my gosh, look how adorable this is. Love, love, love this. Oh my goodness, these kids are so stinking cute. Okay, so there's one side. And there is the other side. 
Now there are dies that coordinate with this set that cut out some of these kids. I did not purchase the bundle yet, so I don't know exactly what dies, but oh my goodness, here are kids baking. <laughs> there you go. And then there's the other side. Here are some kids. Oh my gosh, I love this little guy with his hula hoop. All right, so there are some kids there. I guess this is outdoor fun for the kids. Chasing butterflies and frogs. And then, oh, I love this one. Look, you can see where you can cut right along these lines and make scrapbook pages or greeting cards. Love that. Love, love, love that. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then here are kids either reading. This guy looks like he is reading and having some popcorn. He has a blanket over his head, kind of like he's supposed to really be asleep, but he looks like he's staying up reading. And then the back side of him is this nice little straight pattern. And it's kind of a watercolor wash too. You can see the difference, the variation in the color. And then this one, oh my gosh, kids with all their pets. You've got dogs and bunnies, so cute. This little guy has a cat, love that, love that. Let's see, any other kinds of animals? Oh, a bird, a parakeet. That is cute. And then the reverse side of this one is a nice watercolor wash with, it looks like berry burst. I'm gonna look at the colors in just a second. And then this one, you have some kids making some art. I love that. You could use this one for a Valentine's Day card because you can see they made a little banner of hearts. I love this girl. That's what, she looks like me. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I have to do when I create sometimes I have to stick my tongue out when I'm trying to paint okay that is cute love that one and then the reverse side of this one is that pattern so let me pull out the colors of this azure afternoon berry burst calypso coral copper clay crushed curry fresh freesia gorgeous grape lemon lime twist melon mambo night of navy old olive pool party poppy parade and pretty peacock wow those are some nice bright colors all right, so these are the colors and the patterns on the back sides. Okay, so you get two of each of these, and then when you flip them over, you have all of these kids doing all kinds of activities. And what I personally love, and thank you Stampin' Up, we are showing kids, you know, who just happen to use a wheelchair. That's fine. All right, we're seeing other kids here. Where was he? This little kid right here has a prosthetic leg. Let's normalize all these things, right? Yes, yes. Okay, kids here. You have this little guy here with his headphones. You have this little gal. I think she's a little gal, looks like she has a pigtail here. She's wearing glasses, yep. Love this Stampin' Up. Thank you for all of that work. That is perfect. Okay, love that set. I may have just sold myself on that bundle as well, now that I've seen it up close. Alrighty, this is Poetic Expressions. This is another 12 by 12 pack that is in the January through April mini catalog. All right, let's pull these out. Oh, this is beautiful. Is this Boho Blue? Let me see. Yes, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Lost Lagoon, Moody Mauve, Mossy Meadow, and Wild Wheat. Okay, so that is one side. Here is the other side. Alrighty. And then, oh, that looks good together. Those two even match. All right, and then there is that side. Very pretty, like sort of like another Baroque kind of pattern right here with the bubble bath. And then the back side here, these are teeny tiny little hearts making these lines. So you really could use that for Valentine's Day. 
Okay. Little sprigs. This is just all very like delicate. These are beautiful. And then there's that one. And then another moody mauve pattern here. And then the back side. These two go well together as well. And then one last one. Here's the wild wheat. And then on the back side, oh, that's cute. Those are like little medallions kind of. All right, so let's look at these all together and then I'm gonna flip them. So here is one side and here is the other side. And again, this one is called Poetic Expressions. I had to double check. I couldn't remember what I said it was. Alrighty, two more to look at. Alrighty, this is the Rock and Roll 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. There is a bundle also that coordinates with this paper in the January through April mini catalog. Okay, here is one side. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. You could even color that. That is so cool. So my niece and my nephew both play bass guitar. Oh, and here's the opposite side of that. Oh, this whole pack is black and white, so that is awesome. You can bray your ink over it to change the color. Oh, love that too. That looks like a chalkboard to me. That will coordinate well with the kid paper as well. Here's all kinds of cassette tapes and stereos and speakers. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. That is cool too. I like that splatter. That even looks like a night sky. The next one right here, you have some stripes. And then, oh, this is neat. This looks like crinkled up paper that you've then flattened out. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. And then this one, love that. And then that one on the back side. I love these textures. Oh, this is probably my favorite one right here. This looks like um, plaster on different, like stucco on different layers. And then the back side is right there. So those are all of those. And it looks like if we fan these out, one side, the black is the predominant color. Okay. And then on the opposite side, you have the white as the, as the predominant color. So that is pretty cool. Again, that is called Rock and Roll 12 by 12 paper. All right, one last one to show you. <laughs> and I think this is probably my second favorite after the bees. This is called Perennial Lavender. And this paper coordinates with the um, lavender bundle and that perennial postage bundle that I showed you. I know I'm going really, really long with this video. I apologize, but I wanted to show you all these cool things. Okay, perennial lavender has berry burst, blackberry bliss, fresh freesia, gorgeous grape, highland heather, lost lagoon, orchid oasis, pretty peacock, shaded spruce, and starry sky in it. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, love that paper. It looks like it is hand painted by one of the um, artists that's stamping up. And then the back side is that one. Then we have this one. Oh, that's gorgeous too. Love that. And then here is the back side of that one. I love this with the little butterflies. Remember those butterflies I showed you? They coordinate with this suite as well. You'll find them in the same area. And look how nicely these two patterns go together. And then here is the back side of that one. Okay, here is this one. Oh my goodness, look at that. This would make just a beautiful scrapbook page, just as it is. A couple flowers, a little bit of journaling, and you're done. And then, oh good, a gingham. I love that gingham on the back side. Okay, the next one 
is this pattern right here and this even blends so nicely with the gingham or look look at those two together I like how these two coordinate together as well it's just beautiful it's the coordination that always sells me <laughs> and then here is one that is mostly gorgeous grape okay and then here is the next one. Oh my gosh that is stunning those two together love that oh and then all the leafing love that too so this is probably my second favorite pack I know I will get a lot of use out of this one all right so let me fan these out so you can see the one side okay there we go so that is one side of this designer series paper and then here are the opposite sides love 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 this just beautiful alrighty so again that is called perennial lavender designer series paper okay I think I have gone through everything <laughs> I think I have all right so let's put our little samples out here again these are the only four samples I've done so far but working hard to um, get the catalogs ready to be mailed out so this again is the new um, January to April mini catalog and the coordinating celebration brochure again if you do not have a demonstrator and would like to receive these catalogs in the mail if you're in the US please just drop me a line send me a message or leave a comment and I will get back to you and I can put them in the mail for you that is what is going on this week I will be starting to create with all of these on Facebook lives starting next weekend so I may even ask you for your favorites tell me which one you want me to work with first and then that'll give me some guidance because I can't choose Plus, I know you've probably noticed this little glass mat here. Let me swing my light so it's not quite glaring out in there. Um, this is the joining offer during celebration. You may choose to um, receive this glass mat and you get this silicone mat as well that sticks right to it. And then there is a chamois cleaning cloth that comes with it as well. All you do with this is wet it with some water and you can see I've been cleaning off my um, my new brayer with it and then that can sit right here so this is one of the options you pay $99 for the starter kit you choose $125 worth of product and then you select the glass mat as your special joining offer during celebration or if you already have a glass mat and you don't need one you can also then choose to just add 30 more dollars to your starter kit. So instead of choosing $125 of product, you choose $155 of product, okay? So that starts January 4th as well. I would love to have you join my team. Next um, Saturday, before I go live, I will be um, doing a Zoom with my team and we will be making some new cards from the new mini catalog and the celebration brochure as well so it doesn't matter where in the united states you live you can still be a member of my team um, i do things virtually so that everybody can participate so i hope you enjoyed this i know i ran really really long this week but i wanted to give you a little little um, sneak peek of some items coming up in the new mini catalog. I will see you next Saturday again and we will start creating with things in both of these catalogs. So until then, have a great New Year's and I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.